Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 video and today we're going to be doing another episode of checking out some of your guys' solar systems. I think we're on episode 88 now which is absolutely insane but before we begin guys I made a post um, um, was it about 10 minutes ago now just asking your thoughts on my 8,000 subscribers special so if you've got the time to spare just head over to the community tab and let me know your thoughts on um, what I could do for that um, but yeah that's what I wanted to say because um, yeah I made that post yeah, I just want to hear your thoughts on what I could do for the 8,000 special so yeah definitely go ahead and uh, respond to that comment I made on the community tab and yeah, let me know what you think um, would be good for the 8000 special um, but yeah, anyways let's get on today's um, or today's um, systems now so yeah we've got two systems from Nika so I'll leave a link to him down below in the description um, and yeah, we've got two systems from him so we'll just go straight into it so let's see what he has got for us so the first system is called the BLPS and then a ton of numbers binary system okay so let's go ahead and search this up wait for it to open all right there we go. All right, so yeah, a lot of letters, as you can see in the name of this. So let's open it, and let's see what he has prepared for us here. Right. Yeah, very long letters, I'm definitely, or numbers. I'm definitely going to be reading all these out. So, um, all right, let's see what we've got in here. So those stars are unbelievably close, and this simulation is running very, very slowly. I wonder if we speed it up. Okay, so there they are. Right, how many objects we got in here? Okay, so we've got 15. Okay, so we should be able to get through this one pretty quick. Then we'll go move on to the second one. So this first two stars here, I'm guessing they're quite similar in their stats. Yeah, they're very, very similar. One of them is a little brighter than the other. But yeah, very, very similar there. Right, moving on to the first planet. Okay, so it is a planet. Okay, so moving on to this guy. Jeez, those two blue stars look like they're going to collide. They're so close. All right, so here it is here. So we've got a Mercury-like object, very rocky, quite hot in temperature, as you can see. A similar size, a little larger than Mercury. It's more like a Mars-sized object, actually. But yeah, there we go there. So this is planet AB. So we're gonna go there. We are. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna read out that BLPS because that's a lot of a uh, lot of letters and stuff there. All right. Oh, this next one looks good. I like the color on this. The ooh, I like that like um, orangey yellow color with the cyan sort of bluish color. That's a nice mix of color, I have to say. So that's at 43 degrees. Still um, no atmosphere here, so it definitely wouldn't be habitable in any way. But yeah, nice color scheme we got on there. Ratio. All right. What well, we had next? Okay. Next up, we're into a blue trail object. Oh, okay, now this one's looking good. So it's at 1.73 degrees. Oh, yeah, look at that. So it's got um, a magenta sort of pink colored atmosphere here. It looks like it's one of the two-tone ones. It looks more pink near the equator, but near the uh, darker areas, it goes to more of a purple color. So that's quite a nice two-tone one. Let's see what it looks like underneath. Oh, okay, so it's another like uh, mix of the yellow and blue color schemes. Looking very, very nice indeed there. Let's check its um, stats as well. So 89 and then 18, okay. Just with some curiosity there, but that's a that's a beautiful looking um, planet there, looking very nice. It's got quite a large moon as well here. Very reflective by the looks of it in some areas. 35 degrees here as well, actually, look at that. So there we are. Hasn't got any water on it, so it's just quite reflective because of both of the stars. So there we go. Let's actually get a surface view on this guy and actually look at the planet, because it still looks like on the moon here. So where, where, where are we at? Oh, there it is. Oh yeah, that looks amazing. Very close to it. I'm scared to speed it up in case anything happens, so we'll do that at the end. Right, so we'll check that out afterwards. Um, moving on to AE now, the next planet out. So this is a uh, frozen ice world by the looks of it, yep. All frozen over by water there. A little larger than Earth in its stats. Right, and the last object by the looks of it is a gas giant, and it's the yellow cyan and white one. Look at that. Oh, I, I've seen um, ones in these colour schemes before. That's such a nice, I love that colour scheme, man. Looks so good together right there very very nice indeed we've also got some moons here so we'll just um, open up on the menu just to save time and so we don't have to zoom in for them all so here we go so the first one second one with a more brownish color scheme third one is called like a dark sort of tan color uh, the fourth one well, that's going a very exotic color we've got like a mint sort of greenish i guess with a pink on it there we are uh, moving on to the next one another like dark sort of tan color with a bit of like lavender purple there and the very last one is a red one, as you can see here. But yeah, that gas giant looks great. Looks like he um, placed them all in one big line as well. Look at that. Right, there we are. Right, any more objects? I believe that is it. Okay, I want to speed this up. I want to see if those stars can light. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and watch, because they seem a bit close. Let's just see if they, let's see, let's see what happens. So there we go. Speeding up. Right, they're going to move. Okay. Okay, all the orbits have already broken by the looks of it on this binary. Until people on trail mode. They are, surely they're going to collide. There's no way. I mean, they are. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, they pull, they tore each other apart by the looks of it with some rush limits. So they've already detonated. So we only, this system only lasted for about 20 days. So now it's made a black hole. And yeah, that'll destroy all the planets in here. So 
yeah, there is that. So yeah, I guess we wouldn't be able to really be able to sit on the moon and watch the planet rise because I think it would blow up before we could even get a chance. But yeah, anyways, that is the first system, the BLPS system there. So I've got a supernova out of it as well. But anyways, moving on to the next system he's prepared for us. So the next system is the HOLAS system. Okay, so let's go ahead and search on that. Right, here we go. Let's see what he's got for us. Right. Oh, okay. Oh, a lot of green trails. Okay, this is looking interesting. Right, let's go straight to the start. All right, Holas. So, a little larger than the sun and it stats there. Double the luminosity. Right there. All right, first planet. Let's get straight into this. We've got a gas giant to begin with. 163 degrees here. Random spawn by the looks of it, but not a bad one, actually. The grey, blue... That's not... If that's a random spawn, that's a, not a bad one. Pretty nice uh, mix of colour there. Pretty cool. Right, so yeah, there it is. So I'd say it's probably like a hot Neptune sort of class of planet by the, the way it looks there. Uh, right, next up we've got Vega here. So this is going for green atmosphere. Oh, it's another two-tone atmosphere. So it's got... It's mainly white, but if you get closer to the darker area of the planet, it goes to a green colour. See, it goes white, and then it goes to a greener colour. Nice two-tone we've got going on there. Very cool. Um, 12 degrees. Let's check these stats on this guy. 95 and 34, so pretty good stats. Then we've got some observers here, so more use of the probe. You know, that's quite a trend that people like to do. It's pretty cool, actually. Uh, and then we've got Lonus here, the moon. Okay, there we are. This simulation actually looks like it runs. Let's go ahead and land on the moon and uh, have a little look around. So, here we go. A lot of trails around as well, so we'll go ahead and switch those off. So, um, here we go. Trails on and off, right. There we go. That is a beautiful looking planet. Look at it from this view, though. It looks great. That's that, mate. that may be good for the fun, though, actually. I really like the way that looks. That's a really cool looking view, and the planet looks great. I really like that green and the white colour scheme. That's cool. The light green sort of clouds with the white atmosphere as well. That's a, that is a cool looking rocky planet. Definitely... Um, definitely a cool one indeed. I'll take a screenshot for that. That looks good. So yeah, there we are. Right, actually, no, no, we'll play it. Let's play it. Let's um, land back there. Uh, click space. Yeah, let's play this. See it move. There you are. That's cool. That is a nice looking object. Very nice indeed. There we are. So let's go around. I reckon that look, that atmosphere uh, colour scheme would look quite good on my Pascal planet, actually. Um, yeah, there we are. Yeah, that's looking good. I really like the colour scheme on that. I don't know if it's just me. You guys let me know what you think of that. But that's a, I think this uh, Vega planet looks really, really good. So there we go. Oh, it's a second moon. Oh, no, that wasn't the moon. It was the observer. Okay. So, okay, back onto the orbits. All right, so next up we've got Varus over here. So this one's rolling with the green trail as well. Nice to have some different coloured trails in here. And this one's colours are very exotic, as you can see. So we've got a very deep Neptune blue. We've got a deep green colour there. And then we have like an orangish colour in the high elevation there as well. Um, what is that over there? If you look in the corner, that looks like some orbits over there. Pretty crazy. Anyways, we've got Vortis here. So it's got some simple moons. Um, another simple moon. And then we have um, Lotus over here, also with um, exotic colours, going with the yellow and cyan colour theme. Looking really good there. Do like yellow and cyan combined. Nice colour scheme. Right, Lotus. Right, next up we've got Jupiter. Uh, okay. Right, so this one has got some insane orbits, as you can see around it. Obviously based off Jupiter here. Um, looking very nice with the colours as well. So we've got a deep blue in the south, goes to a purple, red, cyan, and then back into like the red at the top. That's a nice modded object actually, looking good. Very big as well, 100,000 in radius there. Right, then let's go on to the moons. So let's go ahead and see these guys. All right. That one's got an atmosphere there. Okay, next one, One over here. Moldy, Visky. There's a lot of moons we've got to go through. Let's try and get through them all. You got menu open, picks. I'm guessing a lot of them are asteroid objects and uh, spawned in objects. Okay, this one's got coloured. There we go, so green and orange one there. Uh, that one's also coloured. There we go. So he likes his exotic colours with the greens and the blues by the looks of it. Um, there we are. Pi over there, Vopis, Vix. So a lot of these are custom names by the looks of it as well. Okay, I think that's all of them. Yeah, I want, I want to say that's all of them. Okay, there we are. Cool. Yeah, that's a, that is a nice looking gas giant though. That's cool. I like that. So there we are. Right, moving on. Right, so we've got Jatern next. Okay, this one is a very exotic one. It looks like it's the same planet, but with more bands, I want to say. I'm not entirely sure. I think it's quite similar. Got some green in there as well there. Um, so yeah, little, not as large. So this obviously represents the Saturn in the system. It's only got two moons around it, though. So there's the first one. Then the second one here. Righty-o. Nice cyan blue trail as well. Looking very nice. Okay, now moving on to Malatus, the next one out. Okay, so it's a more uh, pale-looking gas giant with the colours there. Pretty interesting colour combination there as well. And moving on to the moons as well. See, more exotic blue and green moons. He likes his blues and greens. Um, then we've got Lydda, a dark um, one here. 
No, a Vorist. Another exotic coloured one there. Got a lot of those. Um, near Tassis is a yellow and red one there. Let's get a view from this one. Of the gas giant. There we go. So go ahead and land on this guy. Let's turn off all the orbits. Click play. So there it is there. Quite a cool looking um, gas giant there, actually. Or well, more of an ice giant, maybe. Actually, it's quite cold here. But there it is. Looking good. Let's go ahead and... Uh, yeah, get out of there. Right, cool. So orbits. Okay, so that's all of the ones there. All right, so there's that one. All right, now we're moving on to Velos over here. So this is a... Oh, this one looks good. The deep blue with the white band. That's very nice looking indeed. With a green trail though. Should have a blue one if you ask me. Um, Nestove here. Or uh, Nestove... Maybe. I'm not sure I'd say that one. That's a really cool view of the gas giant. Oh, that's looking good. Um, Evate over here. Um, Lover over there. Okay, that's all of them, but oh, that's a good looking gas giant. Let's go ahead and land on here. Right, let's look around, turn that off. Oh, yeah, look at that. That's cool. You can see the gas is moving on it as well. Oh, that's so cool. Love that. Right, Velos. Yeah, look at that. That's looking really, really good. Got the other moon in there as well. That's a, that's a sweet looking gas giant. I really like that. So, there we go. Maybe really, maybe that's the best one, actually, out of them all I've seen so far. Right, anyways, moving on to the next object, which I believe is this one here. It's only one object by the looks of it. We'll still zoom on it though, so it's a dwarf planet by the looks of it, quite small. It's all by itself, very far away. So yeah, there we go. So a similar sort of setup to our own solar system, actually. Um, got a few more objects out here. That's an asteroid. Another one here. Similar sort of colour to Sedna there, the red there. Got this one as well, another um, asteroid. Oh, this one's got a very exotic purple. Let's check this out. Very, very cold at minus 255 as well. And it always got some moons. That moon is unbelievably close to hitting it. I mean, let's uh, slow this down now. Look at this. So it orbits very quickly. I'm guessing all these guys are, yeah, they're all small um, asteroids. But yeah, check how close this guy gets to the planet, or the um, dwarf planet there. I mean, there we go. It's on its closest point, about uh, almost there. So somewhere around here. That's very close. I mean, if we... Uh, land on the surface of the um, object itself and look up. I mean, look how close that is. Let's uh, land here. Are we in the right spot? Are we, where are we? If we look up, we should see it anywhere? No? Where is it? There it is. Well, it's, it's actually the right one. Oh, yeah, there it is. I mean, that's quite close. I mean, that's how, this is the surface, and then it's right there. That, that's really close. <laughs> that's dangerously close. I mean, the tides on this object would be completely nuts. If there was any there. Anyways, there are the rest of the moons. All right. So yeah, that must have some very strong winds on it, that um, dwarf planet there. And all the moons. Okay, further out, just a few more asteroid objects. All right, there we are. Right, and then the very last object, very, very far away here, a lime green and orange object. Very, very small. Minus 270 degrees, I'm guessing it's pitch black. Yep, completely dark here. So that's almost like a rogue planet just hanging onto this star at this point. But yeah, there we go. So that is it for the Holas system. Pretty nice set of objects, I have to say. Very nice. So best gas giant, 100% the blue one. That looked great. Really, really like that. Second place to me would go to this one, I'd say, actually. Yeah, the view, the Jupiter one. But yeah, the blue one takes it for me. Looks great. Favourite Rocky, 100% the first one we saw. Vega here. This looks amazing. Love that. The white, and then it turns to more of a greenish colour in the darker area. That's amazing. 100% that's my favourite object I've seen in all of the systems today out of the two we've done. That looks great. If it, is it just me, guys? I mean, maybe it's just my personal preference, but this looks great. Let me know your thoughts down below on which one you think's the best, but love that. And I think I will use that screenshot for the thumbnail, or I'll definitely do another one and make it look even better, but that looks great. That is really, really cool. But yeah, anyways, that is it for today's um, two system, guys. So again, all credit goes to Nicker, the creator of this. So I'll leave a link to him down below in the description as, um, there, guys. And also, I keep seeing a lot of comments of people asking how to send in their systems. Literally, all you need to do is join um, my Discord server, link in the description there. And then you can send your systems in the upload chat just by dropping the um, system folder into the um, chat. And then it will upload the whole system for you. So that's pretty simple as that. So all you need to do is join my Discord server. Just drag the file into the um, upload chat, and then there you go. So, um, all good. So, um, yeah, hopefully I've got that all cleared up. So I still see a lot of comments. I do say it most of every episode. But, yeah, still a few people, I guess, haven't got the message and haven't... Maybe they don't watch till the end or something. I don't know. But, um, yeah, that's um, how you send a system in anyway. But, yeah, make sure you guys leave a like on today's video as well because we're coming up to episode 90 now. I th yeah, I think this was 88, if I remember right. Episode 88. Yeah, we're definitely going to get this to 100 um, by um, the autumn. 
I think, or spring, depending on where you are in the world. But um, yeah, really, really cool stuff indeed. And also, guys, make sure to subscribe if you're new. Helps on the journey to 9,000 subscribers. I think we're almost about to hit 8.1. So yeah, actually, speaking of like the 8K, like I said at the start of the video, make sure to go over to the community tab on my channel and then just respond to my little thing there, asking about the 8K special. If you've got the time, it would be really appreciated. But um, yeah, that is it, guys. So I will see you all in the next video. Make sure you have a great day and goodbye.